So question number one of the second exercise gives us a set of figures and we'll have to find out that which of these following set of figures have a rotational symmetry of order of more than one. Let us take the first set of figures on the canvas. Now rotational symmetry as we all know is based on the concept that if a given figure is rotated by an angle about a fixed point which is also known as the center of rotation the figure still looks exactly the same. For example if we consider this first figure figure A and if we rotate this figure about this fixed point which is the center of rotation for this figure but before we do that let us mark this point using a blue dot through which we'll see the rotation of this figure. Now if we rotate this figure in the clockwise direction by an angle of 90 degrees let us see what is the change in the position of this blue dot. So we have got this figure after a 90 degree rotation of the question figure and we see that the new position of the blue dot is this. So the figures, both the figures are exactly the same but the change in the position of the blue dot represents the rotation of the question figure by an angle of 90 degrees. Let us again rotate this figure by 90 degrees in the same clockwise direction and let us now observe what is the change in the position of this blue dot. So after a 180 degrees of rotation from the question figure, this is the figure which we have got where this is now the new position of the blue dot which represents the rotation of the figure by an angle of 180 degrees. So this figure also looks exactly the same as the question figure. But since there is a change in the position of the blue dot, it represents the rotation of this figure. Let us again rotate this figure in the same clockwise direction by an angle of 90 degrees. Let us identify the change in the position of the blue dot. So after a total of 270 degrees rotation of this figure, we saw that this is now the position of this blue dot. And again, if we rotate this figure in the same clockwise direction by 90 degrees, so we'll see that we'll get the question figure. So after a rotation of 90 degrees, four times, we'll see that we have got back to the question figure. Hence, we can say that this figure has an order of rotation of 4. So according to this question, this figure have a rotational symmetry of order of more than 1. Let us now see what do we have in the second figure which is figure B. So in figure B, we see that this cross again represents the fixed point or the center of rotation. Let us now see the lines of symmetry for this particular triangle which is an equilateral triangle. And if this point is marked as the blue dot, which will help us identify the rotation of this figure. And since the angle between any two line of symmetry, that is this one, is 180 degrees. So if we rotate this figure in the clockwise direction by 120 degrees, let us now see what is the change in the position of the blue dot, which identifies the rotation of the figure. So after a 120 degree rotation of the question figure, we have got this figure where this is the position of the blue dot. But both these figures are exactly the same since that the change in the position of the blue dot represents the rotation of the question figure. So again, if we rotate this figure by an angle of 120 degrees in the clockwise direction, let us now observe what is the change in the position of the blue dot. So again, after a 120 degree rotation from the question figure, we saw that this is now the position of the blue dot. And hence, we see that this is also exactly the same size of the question figure. But this change in position of the blue dot represents the rotation of the figure. Again, if we rotate this figure in the same uh, clockwise direction by 120 degrees, we'll see that we'll get back to the question figure. So since this figure has been rotated three times to get back to the question figure, 
we'll conclude that this figure in part B has an order of rotation 3. So for this particular question, we can say that this figure also have a rotational symmetry of order more than 1. Let us now see what we have in the C part. So in the C part, based on the position of the fixed point about which the figure is going to rotate and if I mark this point using the blue dot to identify the rotation of the figure, so we'll get the exact same figure if we rotate this figure by a full 360 degrees in the clockwise direction to get the same figure. So let us now see what would be the new position of this blue dot. So after a complete 360 degrees rotation of the question figure, we've got the same figure and hence for this figure, we can say the order of this figure is exactly one and it's not more than one as is given in the figure. Let us now move on to the next set of figures of the question. So in figure D, this is the position, this is the fixed point and the center of rotation about which the figure is going to rotate. Let me again mark this point of the figure with this blue dot which will help us identify the rotation of the figure. So again, if we rotate this figure in the clockwise direction by 180 degrees, let us now see the position of this blue dot which will help us identify the rotation of the figure so that we will get the exact same figure. So after a 180 degrees rotation of the figure, we have seen that this is now the new position of the blue dot which gives us the same figure exact as in the question and hence help us identify the rotation of the figure. Again, if we rotate this figure in the same clockwise direction by again 180 degrees, we'll see that we'll again get back to the question figure. So since we are rotating this figure twice to get back to the original figure, we'll say that this figure has an order of rotation 2, which according to this question is again more than 1. Let us now move on to the E part of this question. Now in E part, we see that this cross represents the fixed point or the center of rotation. And let me mark this point again using this blue dot, which will help us identify the rotation of this figure. Now this figure as we see is divided into three parts, which means that to get the same figure, we'll have to rotate this figure in the clockwise direction by an angle of 120 degrees. So let us see the new position of this blue dot after the figure is rotated by 120 degrees. So after a rotation of 120 degrees, this is the figure which we have got where this is the new position of the blue dot which represents the rotation of the figure. This figure looks exactly the same as the question figure. but we have achieved this figure after we have rotated the question figure by 120 degrees. If we again rotate this figure by 120 degrees in the same clockwise direction, let us now see what would be the new position of this blue dot, which will help us identify the rotation of this figure. So as we can see in this figure, which we have got after a complete 240 degrees rotation from the question, and this position of the blue dot represents the rotation of this figure. We see that this is exactly the same figure as the question and hence if we again rotate this figure by 120 degrees in the same clockwise direction, we'll see that we'll get back to the question figure. So hence this figure is rotated three times by 120 degrees to get back to the question figure. We'll say that this figure has an order of rotation 3 which according to this question definitely have a rotational symmetry of order more than one. Now in the last figure of this question, which is figure F, 
we have a windmill which is which may not appear symmetrical but let us see what happens if we rotate this windmill about this fixed point or the center of rotation let us also consider this point marked by this blue dot which will help us identify the rotation of this figure now let us see if we rotate this figure by 90 degrees to get an identical figure let us see the change in the position of this blue dot which represents the rotation of this figure so after 90 degree rotation of the question figure in the clockwise direction we see that this is the new position of the blue dot which represents the rotation of the figure and hence we see that this is exactly the same figure as the question figure now again if we rotate this figure by 90 degrees let us see what is the new position of this blue dot which will help us identify the rotation of this figure so after a total rotation of 180 degrees we see that the new position of this blue dot is here and we can say that this figure is also identical to the question figure but is being rotated by 180 degrees which is being shown by the position of this blue dot again if we rotate this figure by 90 degrees in the clockwise direction let us now see what is the new position of this blue dot so after a total of 270 degrees rotation of this figure we see that this is now the position of the blue dot and hence we can say that this is also exactly the same as the question figure but because of the change in the position of the blue dot we see that this figure has undergone rotation and if we again rotate this figure in the same clockwise direction by 90 degrees we'll again get back to the question figure so we see that this figure has been rotated four times by an angle of 90 degrees to get back to the question figure so we can say that the order of rotation for this figure is again four which according to this question is definitely more than one so these are the different ways in which how we can identify the rotation of different figure to determine their rotational symmetry and this is how we are going to answer question number one of the second exercise to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers